Hello guys, it's uh, Buij uh, from uh, Outdoors Adventures and uh, today uh, it's a nice day and uh, I feel like having a tea. Uh, what kind of tea? Uh, today we're gonna have a, a rose hip uh, tea. Uh, it's actually uh, delicious, it's uh, very healthy and uh, for you guys uh, not familiar uh, what are we talking about? Uh, you can actually take a look and see. So, what is uh, what is a rose hip? Uh, rose hip is uh, actually a fruit of the uh, wild uh, rose, and uh, the actual fruits they are available uh, from uh, late uh, summer. Then uh, they ripe, and uh, all the way through the winter. Uh, now we are in uh, early spring and uh, we still have uh, rose hip uh, bushes uh, around, uh, especially in this area, um, in Canada actually, Ontario, and uh, they are all over the place, uh, very common, uh, uh, let's call it bush. So anyway, uh, the actual tea, how you make the tea, uh, it's actually very simple, it's like you're cooking the soup or uh, something else. Uh, the actual fruits, uh, I'm gonna show you, I already made, uh, I got already tea made, it has a uh, very, very uh, authentic, uh, it's like a dark orange uh, color, and it's uh, very delicious uh, just uh, by itself, uh, because there is a lot of uh, sweet texture, there is no need to add any uh, sugar to the tea, so it's very simple, I'm just gonna grab a few and uh, I'm just gonna explain. Uh, so in uh, late summer, the actually the actual fruit, it's uh, more like a, uh, it's almost like a plastic texture. Uh, it's uh, quite hard, and uh, you can actually uh, you can actually clean them. Uh, they have seeds inside. You don't want to eat that. They're no good and uh, you can actually just clean them like you would clean uh, apple or some other fruit uh, take the seeds out and uh, you eat the rest of it it's very unique flavor uh, there is nothing alike actually and it's uh, really really healthy i'm not gonna even start talking about all these benefits uh, you can probably read about it and uh, find out more than i can tell you but uh, oh my god like uh, uh, just uh, vitamin C by itself, uh, we're talking about, uh, I don't know if you realize or not, uh, there is about, you know, 60 times more vitamin C in uh, rose hip than in orange. So, especially when we're getting to the flu season, like a winter, uh, fall, winter time, uh, when uh, flu is very common, uh, you actually, as a matter of fact, want to have uh, more frequently this kind of tea because... Uh, it's just good for you, uh, not only uh, vitamin C, I mean like other stuff, uh, uh, regulating the blood pressure uh, for diabetes, uh, it's uh, really uh, super, uh, it's a power fruit, uh, nature power fruit uh, given from uh, God. Uh, uh, if you have a luxury to enjoy them, uh, please do so, because they are very good. So when you so when you pick them uh, at the late uh, summer, they're more like a, you know, hard flavor. Uh, after first frost, they become very soft. Uh, they're more like a gummy. Uh, even now, in the end of the winter, they're still like that. They're very gummy, and you can actually you you can actually squeeze them. It's almost like you're squeezing the pimple, and uh, you're gonna see uh, this orangey paste is coming out. You can eat it. But this is actually paste, it's almost like you're having a jam, it's really really good and it, uh, it has uh, like a sweet texture. So to bake a nice tea, you just pick, uh, let's say if you have a, you know, if you want to make a couple of cups, you, pick, you can pick them a handful or two and uh, you just uh, boil them in the pot, uh, you let them uh, simmer for a few minutes. What I like to do, I like to crush them, so all this paste, all this flavor and skin, all this stuff uh, dissolves in the water and gives a nice flavor. And then uh, 
as soon as it's done, oh my goodness, you can uh, you can start uh, drinking the tea. Uh, what I suggest, uh, the actual tea, uh, you just uh, pour through the strainer. You don't want all these, uh, like I said, there is seeds uh, inside the fruit and uh, you don't want that in your tea. You can actually filter the tea and you have a nice, nice, beautiful uh, uh, rose hip tea. It's, there's nothing alike. If you're cooking that uh, indoors in the house, uh, there is very authentic smell all the way through the house. It's almost like a, it's almost like a remedy. Uh, it, it just, uh, it, it feels really, really unique, good. Uh, once, uh, like I said, there is no need for sugar. It's already sweet by itself because of the sugars in the fruit. Uh, my goodness, it's a you know wonderful thing uh, provided by nature, and it's also you know good survival food. Uh, it would uh, keep you going for a long time if there is uh, nothing else. So I will uh, enjoy my uh, tea, and uh, I hope uh, you guys gonna have a chance to do the same thing. And uh, don't forget uh, rose hip uh, power fruit. Uh, by the nature and uh, you know if I go hiking uh, or if you go hiking uh, just grab a few here and there you know have a you know healthy snack and uh, you know just throw them away and uh, hopefully by uh, you throwing them away uh, maybe more of them will grow uh, for uh, years to come uh, so uh, I hope you guys uh, like my video and uh, Cheers. Oh my god. Phenomenal. Take care guys.